Wang, I'm here to affirm the resolution U.S. federal government to lower the drinking age. Definition, Oxford Dictionary refines, defines drinking age as the minimum age at which it is legal for a person to buy alcohol. Alcohol, a colorless, flavor liquid that in one <laughs> form is a substance in liquors as beer, wine, or whiskey that can make a person drunk. Adult, an adult is a mature, fully developed person. Binge drinking, consuming uh, five or more drinks per occasion. Judging criteria, if we can prove that lowering drinking age will do more good than harm and will save more young people's life, we should win this round. <laughs> Background, um, most countries of the world have a very different drinking age. The United States is one of only four countries with an age as high as 21. The others are Indonesia, Mongolia, and Palau. All other countries either have no minimum age or have a lower age, generally at 17 or uh, 18, some set it as 16. In US, the minimum drinking age was set 21 in all states following the passage of the National Minimum Drinking Age Act in 1984 which threatened to cut federal funding to states that did not raise their minimum drinking ages. So the act has been implemented for over three decades, and it meant to stop his drinking, but it doesn't work. Americans under 21 years old continue to use alcohol despite the law. <coughs> Harms, legal age 21, foster and safe drinking habits. The current law makes teenagers drink underground to request the settings. Raising the drinking age ha uh, has made alcohol more attractive to teenagers because it is prohibited to these individuals. The law also causes young adults to engage in more risky behavior. When they get their hands on alcohol, they try to get loaded as fast as they can. Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention states that People who are below age 21 drink 11% of all alcohol consumed in the United States. More than 90% of this alcohol is consumed in the form of binge drinks. The current law makes underage drinking worse. It leads to the physical harms, huge economic loss, and waste of resources. According to American Journal of Preventive Medicine, 2015 November, it states that um, underage drinking is responsible for the U.S. $24 billion in economic costs. Of this, $3.8 billion was health care costs. $13.7 billion was lost labor with productivity, and $6.8 billion was other costs such as alcohol-related crime, motor vehicle crashes, and the federal alcohol syndrome costs. Inherency. Keeping legal uh, age 21 only increases the desire for the forbidden fruit such that when teens 21, they will drink heavily. So plan, our plan is to lower the drinking age to 18 from 21. According to the law dictionary, the age of 18 is when one is officially and legally treated as an adult. An adult has reached the age when they are legally responsible for the action. If we infantilize adults, don't be surprised about their infantile behavior. A report from the Center on Alcohol Ma Marketing and Use shows that the incidence of onset of alcohol dependency peaks by eight years of age. To cancel the harms, we should prepare young adults to make respons responsible decisions about alcohol in the same way we prepare to operate a vehicle, motor vehicle, that is, educating and uh, licensing. In 2014, the former president of Middlebury College, John McCardell, spoke of the necessity of having mandatory alcohol education courses in high school. Teach kids, the, teach kids the chemicals of alcohol, the consequences of alcohol abuse. Let them know when they will have enough and how to stop. To tell them not to leave alone someone who's drank. They need to know that drinking too much too fast can be fatal, that alcohol itself can poison their system and shut down their breathing. Anyone who passed the test can have a license to drink. However, if one violates the rule, his or her license must be taken away. Solvency, lowering the drinking age, gives guardians one more options. 
a lower drinking age will allow parents, family, and other guardians to instill safety drinking practices with their children, which is safe for everyone. Research published by World Health Organization find that in many European countries where the drinking age is 18 or younger, and often not enforced, uh, 15 and 16 year old teens have more drinking occasions per month, but fewer occasions of dangerous intoxication than their American counterparts. On the contrary, 90% of the alcohol consum consumption by individuals in the US between 18 to 20 years old is done while engaging in binge drink behavior. By teaching young teens the harms of alcohol abuse, they will be unlikely to make bad choices. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention state that 4,358 deaths for a person under age 21 each year are caused by alcohol abuse. If youngsters receive education about drinking and be responsible for their selves, for themselves, they are likely, they are less likely to get drunk and cause problems. Therefore, the physical harms and economic loss will be avoided. Most importantly, more young people's lives will be saved. Today, I've talked about um, the harms of current drinking law, the reasons, the reasons to change, and the benefits of the new plan. By lowering the drink age to 18, teaching teens and young adults to drink responsibility at a younger age, it will help reduce the allure of alcohol to those forbidden by law to possess it. Prohibition is not the answer and never has been. Let us treat young adults. Young, let us treat young people who turn 18 as adults. Therefore, we affirm the resolution U.S. federal government should lower the drinking age.